to the destination for TV superfan discussion, After Buzz TV. And now, let the buzz begin. Today, we're joined by Katie Darrell, who hosts World's Greatest Tribute Bands, Wednesdays at 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 Pacific on Access TV. This is Spotlight on Katie Darrell. And for our listeners who haven't seen the show, and shame on you if you haven't seen the show, uh, it... Talk a little bit of how it works. You know, it's per yeah. they perform live at the Whiskey A Go Go, the exactly. famous, the legendary Whiskey the A Go Go. The world famous Whiskey yeah. A Go Go. So, what happens? Like a, a day in the life of the world's greatest tribute bands. This is a live television show. Um, in order to see it, you have to turn on your television. It's not an internet thing. It is a television thing. You have to turn on your TV to access TV. Um, and so, you turn on the TV on Wednesday night at 10 Eastern, 7 Pacific, and you will see an awesome tribute band. A tribute band tributes one artist and right. they dress up and act kind of it's basically like theater if you will um a great example is our um tribute to elton john kenny metcalf this is a great a guy that we, we all we know love. very well we're big he, fans of kenny Metcalf. not only has he appeared on the show multiple times but he um comes to the show as well so if you you know when we get to that detail just know that when you come see the show you get to meet kenny metcalf and elton john guy um this is someone who plays the keyboards you know plays the piano that dresses up in costumes from specific tours, you know, knows in detail. Oh, yeah, this he is... has the sequin Dodger uniform yeah. that, that uh, Elton wore, I, like nineteen eighty one or whatever. Exactly, it was. Yeah. and so he he looks like them. He has the talent of the voice and the musicianship, um, and then he'll even like you know talk in an accent like him. So it's really fun. So a tribute band, you know, basically is doing. I, I don't even want to say an impersonation. It truly is an homage to these bands. So this season, when we have a tribute to the Beatles. You will see, you know, the guys dressed up in Sergeant Pepper's outfits, speaking in British accents, playing the instruments as they were played by the Beatles. For instance, our Paul McCartney um, taught himself how to play left-handed because oh, wow. that's how Paul did it. That, like yeah. he was not an original lefty. So this is how crazy detailed well, these that's tribute what I was bands say. are. That attention to detail is so important because if I saw that, I probably wouldn't think about how Paul plays left-handed. Right. I know that now that you say it, but it's not something that I would look at the band and like, oh, the band's good, except uh, what's with the what's with the right-handed Paul? So that's so important yeah. because to them, there are people who would be like, oh no, they're oh. not an authentic enough Beatles band. I don't want to see this one. Absolutely. Yeah. Like when when uh, a couple seasons ago, we had a tribute to Nirvana. Yeah. And, you know, obviously one big detail was that he was a lefty as well. So I had to find a lefty Kurt Cobain and he had to have rockin' hair. Um, and then you also, it's a live TV show. So there is the live studio audience, if you will. So if you are in the Los Angeles area, you can get free tickets and you can come be part of the show. Obviously, you will have set your DVR to record it at home right, because you wouldn't want to miss it. Because that's such an important part <laughs> of you know keeping the show on and keeping people yeah. watching the show is to DVR and watch. Uh, I, I like to go myself. Uh, I Because I know you, I get to sit up in the VIP hey, section. It's VIP. Yeah, I get to rub elbows with Kenny Metcalf as Elton John. <laughs> and but so for people t that just want to go and be in the crowd, eventbrite.com. That's where right. you get the tickets. Except for this Wednesday, because yes. Metallica, Damage Inc., all sold out. Sold out. So if you want to see that, you have to watch it on TV. Exactly. Right. Now, the week after that, on March 22nd, it's the ZZ Top tribute. So... I'm I'm hoping that this band Eliminator has real beards, but if not, I'm sure that they're very convincing. Like, I feel like you're not even listening to me this whole time. Of course they have real beards. I don't know. So a lot of I've seen some of these bands know me, and they have wigs. I know, you know, I know. So the um ZZ Top guys, they do have real beards. They are from Chicago. Their name is Eliminator, and they're fantastic. Um, but these guys from Chicago are so nice, so fantastic to work with, very professional. Um, I'm just really excited to get them into the Whiskey A Go Go and see, pull their beards and see them play. <laughs> I think that that should probably be a picture that you post, is you pulling on <laughs> their beards like that. But anyway, Katie, thank you so much for spending so much time chatting with me. Again, my guest has been Katie Darrell. She's on Twitter at... Katie Darrell. Very simple. Yes, very and simple. And the website is uh, axis.tv if they if AXS. anybody's interested. Yeah, AXS. Dot TV. So uh, for Wait, can, can yeah. I jump in really yeah, quick? Yeah, please. Um, Sharp dressed man. I believe Star Drew asked what was my favorite oh, ZZ yeah. t Top song. Sharp dressed man. And I, I, I assume we're going to hear it on uh, the twenty second. Sharp dressed man and legs. But we'll Woo! see. Tush. You're going to have to tune in and find out. <laughs> anyway, uh, thanks so much, Katie Darrell. Uh, I'm Christian Blatt on Twitter at Christian DMZ. Thanks so much for watching and listening, everybody. We'll see you next time. 
Wednesday. On the next World's Greatest Tribute Bands, we're bringing you a few sharp-dressed men. Eliminator, a tribute to ZZ Top. Join host Katie Darrow live from the Sunset Strip and the world-famous Whiskey A Go-Go as we pay tribute to the greatest music icons of all time. And they've got real beards. The World's Greatest Tribute Bands, live from the Whiskey A Go-Go, Wednesday, 10, 9 Central. Only on Access TV. since 1992, they have met ZZ Top, and supposedly, allegedly, they have an FBI file about them. Ah, they're so rock and roll. Make sure you tweet along, use that hashtag. If your tweet pops up on the screen during the song, LaGrange, you're gonna win yourself a t-shirt. Ladies and gentlemen, put those hands together and welcome to the stage, Eliminator!
Raise your hand if you like ZZ Top. Man, that's a lot of hands. You're putting us under some pressure now. I'm talking about them cheap sun glasses. Well, 
those are cheap sunglasses.
Yeah. 
these guitars.
long as we're in Hollywood, why don't we go downtown and find us some tush? <laughs> Tribute Fans B-Sides, I'm Katie Darrell. Today, I'm going to be sitting down with the guys from Eliminator, a tribute to ZZ Top. You guys are the longest running ZZ Top tribute band, and you actually got to meet ZZ Top. How did that come about? Well, yeah, we've been at it for, this is our 25th year, and there was a, a big ZZ Top fan on one of the, the fan lists that we belong to, and he's like, you know, I know the band, I can get you guys backstage, and we're like, yeah, you know, sure, you know. A week later, we're backstage with ZZ Top, ah! <laughs> and they walk in and they greet him. Hey, Mike. They knew him on, on a first name basis. <laughs> wow. Well, in, in being a ZZ Top tribute band, the beards are so important. Tell me a little bit about the beard maintenance. Well, you know, all you really got to do is grow it, and I, you know, <laughs> I wash and condition every day. And uh, Bob and I are both registered Merkin donors. <laughs> <laughs> Google it. <laughs> Tell me about the ZZ Top gear. How important is the gear to the look of a tribute band? Well, I mean, you got to be authentic, you know. That's why we have real beards. You got to have the mic stands, you know, made out of diesel 
truck exhaust. You got to have the spinning fuzzy guitars. You got to, you know. And well, you got to have them. Where do you get them? Is this something you just go online and you're like fuzzyguitars.com? Well, yeah. <laughs> We, I, I tracked the guy down that, that made the spin devices for ZZ Top, found him in uh, Williamsport, Pennsylvania, and uh, he hooked us up. There is a rumor, and I'd like you to tell me if it's true or not, that there is an FBI file out on the band. Uh, yes, yes, I, I, I will address that rumor. Over the years, Eliminator has been uh, fortunate to play for a few notorious motorcycle uh, clubs, let's call them. <laughs> and we were happy, we were playing at one of the clubs a number of years ago, and uh, it was filmed by uh. a local TV station. And there's allegedly a, a file that uh, we are members of this organization, which we are not. But uh, uh, I just want to hey, put, it builds up your street yeah, cred, though. I, I just huh? want to yeah. put to rest that, that we are law-abiding citizens, and we're there to have fun, play music, and have a good time. If that's the story, I'll stick with it. All I right? appreciate that, and that's the one we're sticking with. Uh, another story that I've heard is that you've played for some of the members of Marilyn Manson's band. Yeah, we uh, we we had a call a number of years ago to uh, play at a club out in the uh, suburbs of Chicago that was owned by uh, Zim Zoom, a oh. uh, former guitar player with uh, Marilyn Manson. He had us come out and play at his club that he had just opened up. And uh, we had a great time. He enjoyed it. We took pictures with him. And, and he, Man, he he's a big ZZ Top fan, which, you know, go figure. You know, great guy, tremendous, really good guitar player. And well, yeah, musician. if you're a good musician, yeah. you know good music, right? Right, exactly, right. exactly. <laughs> well, thanks for putting the tribute together. If someone wants to come see you guys out on the road, how do they uh, find you? That'd be a www.eliminatorband.com. Or I love you can it. get our Facebook page. Fantastic. Well, thanks so much for hanging out with me right here on the world's greatest tribute bands, B Sides. tribute is a group called Eliminator out of Chicago. They have real beards. They've got all the proper gear and little fun fact, they've been on Jerry Springer. <laughs> all right, hopefully you're tweeting along and using that hashtag, but you know what? Let's just get straight to the music. Ladies and gentlemen, please put those hands together and welcome back to the stage, Eliminator.
You want to hear some more? I hear some more.
episode, it's a tribute to the Allman Brothers Band. I'm Katie Darrell, and this is the world's greatest tribute band. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next week. What? What? Well, well, well. Me thinks you like the band. Would you like another song? What? All right, boys, I guess we should play another song. You know what we like about Hollywood? It's full of beer drinkers and hellraisers! These guys are like hot, hot, hot. It was amazing, just like the real thing. High energy, killer songs, great guitar riffs. Everything that everybody wanted to see, they had it. Phenomenal, exciting, incredible. Thanks for the memory!